Hey guys, Armani from Presidium here today to talk to you about colored gemstones and how we're going to test them. We're going to use two proven methods of thermal conductivity with the gem indicator and refractivity with the refractive index meter tube to help you better ascertain the identities of your gemstones. So let's get started. Before performing a test with the gem indicator, it is always recommended to perform calibration on first use or when you're testing in a different ambient temperature. So to perform the calibration at the main menu, scroll down to calibrate and press enter. You will need the calibration disc to perform this process. Next, you'll be prompted to test on disc number one, which is the gray disc. Fully depress the probe tip onto the disc. Next, you'll be prompted to depress the tip on disc number 2, which is the black disc. Calibration is completed once the word successful appears on the screen. Next, we can perform a test. Fully depress the probe tip onto the table of the gemstone. Do kindly ensure that the gemstone is placed on a stone rest or stable platform. Now, we'll see the possible results of the gemstone tested. As you can see, there are many possible results due to overlapping thermal properties of gemstones. When the word color filter appears, the gemstone above it is the last result. And now we can use the refractive index meter tool to help us narrow down the possibility. Use the same stone from the test with the gem indicator and now we'll be using the refractive index meter tool to perform a secondary test. To turn on the unit, Press and hold the power button. Next, remove the recessed cylinder located at the side of the unit. Before performing a test, kindly ensure that the stone is properly cleaned with a piece of cloth or tissue paper. Place the stone table down onto the test platform. Close the test platform with the recessed cylinder. You may reference this result with the refractive index chart provided with each purchase of the refractive index meter. To calibrate the PCS100N, press the CAL button. When the display prompts, make sure the calibration weight is placed on the weighing tray. Close the lid. Cal will become stable and after a few seconds, 20.000 will appear. This signifies the completion of the calibration. Remove the calibration weight from the tray and close the lid. To perform a test, place a stone to be measured on the weighing tray after the word ready appears. The result will be displayed immediately on the LCD. For conversion between different measuring units, press mode to toggle between carat weight, grain, troy ounce, or gram. 